And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Today, let's go over the two endings of the signal from Tolva. So, spoilers ahead if you have not played the game. If you're planning to play the game, you don't want to be spoiled, then uh, don't watch this any further. Okay, so this is the first ending. The idea of the game is that you get to the source of the signal that you're after. And this is where the source of the signal actually is. It's a weird structure. Wolf chasm. And your guardian, who's on the spaceship, sort of warns you not to go inside there. But of course, I am going <laughs> going inside. We'll see what hap you'll see what happens next. Let's go into the bright light. And you'll see a bunch of gibberish. And then this happens. And that's it. That's the first ending. So what to make of this? Well, I think that the source of the signal is an evil presence that corrupts everything in its way. And I think that is explained by the fact that Tulva, the planet itself, is basically a graveyard of ships and structures. Especially ships, you'll see a lot of a lot of downed ships, shipwrecks on the planet. So my idea is that this presence or this signal lures ships to the planet and consumes it, like you see here. It consumed me as as the player, as the robot that I'm playing in that white light that you saw but from that point of view, from that point you'll see that the ships that i came from one of these ships in in orbit around the planet also get consumed by the signal as well so that's quite interesting it's it seems it is a kind of presence that consumes things that needs AI or ships to progress further, maybe further into the galaxy as well. So these ships you'll see that will probably be sent to another planet and the signal will spread to that planet, planet as well. Also an interesting fact is that on Tulva there's no human presence. There are only robots, giant robots, small robots. And I think they're all sort of lured there and uh, by this signal thing, this source of the signal. All right, this is the second ending. I did this at night, so it'll be a bit dark, but you'll see what happens. Now, this is another location on the map. And uh, the Guardian that sort of guides you through the game actually tells you to first go to this place because there is something here that will help get rid of the signal basically so there's a lot of interference going on and there's still a bunch of, uh, of these sentries flying about. I'm trying to get rid of those. Okay, so... So the thing you see there is actually a huge bomb that thing 
and you need to basically, well, bomb the whole planet. That's the idea. So the Guardian will tell you to press the button, and the planet will be destroyed, and the signal will be destroyed in its wake. So here we go. So the bomb is activated, and there we go. Bright light. And this is the second ending. So you see the ships disappearing as the planet is, well, basically destroyed. So the ships got away, the planet destroyed. That's the ending. So the evil signal, the evil presence is not there anymore. And there isn't a whole lot to it, actually. This is... These are the endings of the signal from Tulva. And... The narrative is not that great in this game. It is, it's all very vague. Up to the point where you have to decide whether to... Jump into the signal or to... Activate the bomb. Because that's a very clear choice that you get. But... Throughout the game, it is very vague. You know, the story, the narrative is very vague. I'm not. I have no problem with that. But I'd rather, you know, I'm I'm all for mystery. But this game is too vague, in my opinion. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.